What's going on everyone? Justin here with Trading Cards and More back with another box opening video. Today we're going to be opening some 1990 Upper Deck baseball cards. We haven't opened a lot of baseball cards on the channel lately, but I've been looking at some of these cards. Uh, the Sosa rookies really moved up in price. Uh, if you've been following stuff, they're going to do a documentary here. I think it comes out in June with him and McGuire and the whole home run battle that they had. And... Uh, his cards have really gone up, especially his Upper Deck Rookie card, which is going for over 100 bucks right now, or right around 100 bucks in a PSA 10. And then you also have the Griffey Second Year card, which is going for about $130 in a PSA 10. So we're going to try to rip some of those out of these boxes. Uh, I'm not sure how many cards are in the set. You also have the Bo Jackson card. That's around 40 45 bucks in a 10. And then you also have uh, Juan Gonzalez Rookie cards. Those are about 30 to 40 so... This box had some loose plastic on it, so we're going to bust that one out first. Got these on eBay. Got a pretty good deal on them. Uh, you can get these boxes for right around 20 bucks a piece. I think I paid a little bit less because I bought a handful of them. So you know how I like to do it. Not sure how many cards are in a pack here. It's been so long since I opened any of these. But uh, yeah, 1990 Upper Deck. I do have the Sosa Rookie card. Uh, in a PSA 10 already. Uh, I've had it for years. I bought a Sosa, um, Upper Deck, Donruss, and Fleer Rookie card. I can't remember what I paid. I probably didn't pay more than 30 bucks for all three of them. And uh, I held on them for a pretty long time. I remember looking at the 10s the of the Upper Deck, and it was like a $10 card, maybe $15 for quite a while. And I was like, you know what? I don't want to sell that. That just doesn't make sense to me. So I kept on to it and for all these years and then all of a sudden the price spikes up because of this documentary. So Jose Gonzalez, we're looking for Juan Gonzalez's rookie card. So pretty pretty plain cards. Um, there's Carlton Fisk, Hall of Famer there. And I'm not too familiar with all the different baseball play, player Hall of Famers. I'm, I'm probably going to miss some. Not really a big deal. Like I said, these boxes are like 20 bucks a piece. So there's not a lot of... You're not investing a lot of money, in other words. Mo mainly we're looking for the Sosa and the... Here's Bob Welsh. So I'm recognizing some of these names here. Looks like you get like a hologram sticker card in there as well. Each pack. Packs look um, like, I don't know, aluminum or whatever you call it. And, but then they like rip like paper. So we got a um, Nolan Ryan home run or 5,000 strikeout card. That's pretty cool. Uh, these can have some value. Um, let's, let's leave the Nolan Ryan up. I think here where you can pull the Nolan Ryan autograph. I'm not sure. It says win four 1991 season tickets. Um, I'm not sure if it says anything about an autograph, but I know I remember Nolan Ryan did. Uh, uh, signature on something so all these cards are like upside down and stuff so mainly we're looking for Griffey and we're looking for Sosa hey, there's a Barry Bonds base card but pretty cool we got a Barry Bonds we got Bill Bill Buckner Tim Raines Jordan is in here Slyon's in here what's going on guys Bobby Bonilla Jose Gonzalez, <laughs> a second one of those. And what was our sticker, team sticker there, hologram. James is in here, what's up James? It's kind of a late night live stream, but I was getting a lot of stuff done on the computer. Had to list a bunch of cards and buying some cards. And I said, yeah, let's open a couple of boxes of this. So I got five boxes of these. I also got a box of 92 Upper Deck, I'm not even sure what's in there, so I'll have to kind of look into that and see before we open open that up on the channel what, what our potential pulls are. But mainly I was looking for a box to pull the up, um, Sammy Sosa rookie. His uh, Leaf rookie is worth more, but those boxes are like over 100 bucks a box. Like I said, I can get five boxes of these for 100 bucks. I think I actually paid a little bit less than that for the five. And I got the free, you know, the 92 upper deck thrown in there. Jose De Jesus, Mitch Williams. Got some Cubs players here. I was into the Cubs at this time, but not recognizing a lot of these names. 
Not sure if we can find Sandberg out of here. Probably would be in Series 1. There's a Maguire card, very cool. So it's a Maguire checklist card, basically. Oh, we got a Bo Jackson, nice. So we got a Bo Jackson, it's not the one on the on the cover. It's card number 75, so it's a different card. Got a little ding in the corner. Really the only ones I'm looking to grade are the Sosa and the, um, the Ken Griffey. I have the Griffey in a nine, I don't have it in a 10. There's Ozzy Smith, very nice. I got his up, uh, rookie card, or not rookie card, but autograph on a baseball. There's a Paul Molitor. He's in the Hall of Fame. Like I said, I'm gonna miss some Hall of Famers. Not really, not really worried about it. But Bo Diaz, Dick Schofield, and Sosa was on the um, the White Sox. That's who he got drafted by, I believe. So. We got, is this Robin Yount? No, Rob Deere. Mitch Webster. See, a lot of these Cubs guys, I don't know, even recognizing the names. John Crook, I remember him. And Kevin Mitchell. So far, no hits here. I don't know how many cards are in Series 1. Looks like there's probably, ooh, card 664, 669. Is there really that many cards just in Series 1? That's crazy. So, not good odds at pulling these cards on. If uh, that's how many cards there are in the series. That's the thing with baseball cards back then. There were so many darn cards. And not only that, but um, people would set, like, collect the whole set. And they'd want to, like, you could buy the whole set as it is. I don't know. There's just no value in them. <laughs> so there's so many printed. People, if they do buy them, they just buy them to pull, like, the main card out of their two cards or whatever. Alright, hopefully we got a Sosa in here. Who's that? Is that Bonds? Kevin Mitchell. <laughs> Bad call there. Um, but yeah, with all those cards in the set, it's like, how are you supposed to pull the card you're trying to pull here? Here, we got a Mark McGuire. Nice. OC on the McGuire, but we got a McGuire nonetheless. Mike Davis. There's another Cub guy, Vance Law. Paul Hassenmacher. See, I'm not recognizing any of these names. Scott Sanderson. So weird. There we go. We got a Juan Gonzalez rookie card. Very nice. See, the cuts are a little bit, a little bit uh, weak on the cuts here. So probably not going to grade the Juan. I mean, even if you get a 10, you're looking at 30, 40 bucks. But still, pack fresh Juan Gonzalez rookie card. It's definitely moved up in price a little bit here in the last six months or so. We got another Barry Bonds card. Very, very nice. Barry Bonds, card number 227. Not sure. The bond, I think the Bonds base cards are, they can't be worth that much. We got another sticker card here that's stuck. And it's the A's. Gary Sheffield. So, we've gotten one good rookie here, but we haven't got our card. There's uh, another Maguire. Chil Chili Davis. Man, Chili sounds good right now. Uh, Andre Dawson. That's a cool card. He's in the Hall of Fame. I haven't had Chili in a while. I don't even think they serve it when it gets warmer out. But Oriel Hershiser. I think he's in the Hall of Fame, but we're going to leave him be. Oh, there we go. we got a Ken Griffey Jr. Nice. Definitely left to right, so looking at a nine at best. Um, might still grade it. I mean, he's going for about 130. I'm not sure what the nines are going for. I'll have to look into it, but that's definitely like nine centering at best there, unfortunately. Hopefully the Sosa that comes out here is gonna be better centered. Also, we could find Nolan Ryan in here. I'm not sure if, um, one had leg for arms. I'm not sure what that means. Oh, you mean his arms were like really big? <laughs> yeah. Especially his forearms. Jeez. Yeah, hopefully we get a nicely centered Sosa out of here. But they just didn't, you know, make these cards very 
cut, cut very nice, you know, the cuts on them and stuff. Or Steve Avery. Jose Canseco. Hey, we got a Jose Canseco coming up here. I think his he's going to be in, in there in the video uh, for the documentary. So his his cards might go up. I mean, they've already been going up his rookie cards and everything. Uh, but Jose Canseco, another one of the steroid guys that didn't make it into the Hall of Fame. Maybe one day they'll put these guys in, but who knows. Don August. Larry Walker. Is that Larry Walker's rookie card? Maybe not. Somebody let me know. I swear it was Larry Walker. Could be wrong. Billy Ripken. Brett Saberhagen. Recognize that name. Uh, Steve Avery. Yeah, we've seen that one. Of course, these cards weren't all flipped around and stuff. Jay Howell. Dave Martinez. Still looking for Sosa card. I can't remember what the card number is on the Sosa. I should have brought mine out because I already, like I said, I have a PSA 10 I've been sitting on. I'll probably sell it when I feel like the price has uh, kind of maxed out with this whole documentary. I'll probably let mine go because, I mean, I got it for like 10 bucks, so might as well cash out on the investment. Griffey had the sweetest swing of all time. Yeah. Yep. He could have had the home run record. Yeah. That's what a lot of people say. He got hurt when he was on the Reds. Yeah, we got Dale Strawberry. Very cool. I had his rookie card, but I graded three of his rookie card, and they all came back nines. Here we go. Got the Ryan Sandberg card. Very cool. My dad just gave me this card a couple days ago. I guess he found it somewhere in a box or something. Gave it to me. That was pretty cool. I always used to collect Ryan Sandberg. Uh, there's Robin Ventura, who, who remembers him getting his ass kicked by Nolan Ryan. <laughs> thought he, would, he thought it would be a funny, uh, smart thing to do to charge the mile with Nolan Ryan. 40-something uh, Nolan Ryan who put him in a headlock and started beating the crap out of him. <laughs> oh, man, got turned into a meme. That would suck. Probably just never lived that down. Um... But yeah, I collected, uh, there's Lance Parrish. We got another Nolan Ryan. He's got a little ding on the corner. But the 500, or 5,000 strikeout thing. Nolan Ryan had an insane career. Guy could still throw nine, 90 miles an hour when he got into his 40s, I'm pretty sure. And, uh, but yeah, I had quite the, quite the Jordan collection, or not Jordan. Quite the Ryan Sandberg collection when I was younger. But I eventually sold those cards off or whatever I did with them, traded them. Larry Walker's in the Hall of Fame. Okay, thank you for letting me know that, James. But I can't remember what what year his rookie card was. That is a Larry Walker rookie? Okay. I don't know what it's worth. I don't think it's worth a whole lot. Um, I don't know what the PSA 10s are going for. I didn't really look into it. But, I mean, this one's actually nicely centered. Not seeing any corner dings, so. If I was to grade it, that has a shot at a 10, in my opinion. Uh, looking at the rest of these cards and the centering. At least the left to right looks really, really good. So, yeah, Larry Walker, rookie card apparently. Joel Strawberry had the sweet swing. Yeah, he was cool too. I, uh, like I said, I bought, I bought a bunch of, uh, I think it was his Donruss rookie card, like five of them, five or six of them. I graded three of them and they all came back nines. I sold them off for like 18 bucks or something. They're, they're pretty cheap. Hard thing with buying these older cards. There's Jose Uribe, Uribe, whatever his name is. He had a thing with his Donruss card that was supposed to be like really rare or something. People were trying to sell it for tons of money, but... Anyways, yeah, when you buy these old cards, old Topps cards, any cards from the 80s, it's just, they're just so hard to grade. You'll buy like cards that you think are good and send them off and you get like eights and nines. Here we go, we got another Larry Walker. This one's off-centered though, but apparently another Larry Walker Hall of Famer rookie card. Just, just not a lot of value in these cards. I guess they just printed so darn much, but still cool to pull these cards. Pack fresh, just wish we could get one of these Sosa rookie cards. 
I remember getting one, or I was trading for one, and this guy had one. This was when the PSA probably just started. There's another Jose Canseco. It's like late 90s or whatever. Maybe maybe early 2000s, but I'm going to say late 90s. He's like, yeah, I got the Sosa, and I mean, look at it. It's got a good shot at a PSA 10. And uh, he was trying to trade me a card for it or whatever. I had like a Jordan insert card or something at the time. But, yep, used to go to the card shows. That was a big thing back then. Same same darn guy twice in a row. But you, try, you trade cards with these dealers, and then they'd always one-up you on the trades. But, I mean, they're paying money to rent the spot out. You know, obviously, if they're going to trade for something, they want to get something better for than what they're trading off, you know? Wally Joyner and Vince Coleman. But I remember getting some, some cool rookie cards. I remember getting uh, Fred Fred McGriff Fleer rookie card, or Donner's rookie card, I can't remember. Or, or maybe it was Leaf. I think I still have it. Um, this year he enters the Hall of Fame. Very cool. Cubs games on WGN, my grandpa and Summer Long, Slylan said. The first night game at Wrigley Field. Very cool. Was that the game that was in like 86 or 89 or something like that? Where, um, was it Bill Murray was there? Is that the, is that the game I'm thinking of? Look for Bernie Rookie too. Bernie who? <laughs> Not sure who that is. Or if you're making a joke here. All right, let's get that Sosa already, man. We got a Randy Johnson, nice. Leave 1990, that's Randy Johnson's rookie card, isn't it? Why does it say he played for the Expos? Pretty sure 1990 was Randy Johnson's rookie year. Somebody let me know once again, you know. Uh, Randy Johnson, I do believe all his rookie cards were 1990. Maybe it was 89 that his upper deck. I don't know. Let me know. Here we got Kirby Puck, Kirby Puckett. Uh, Bernie Williams, former Yankee. Okay, I'll look for that one. There's Chris Sabo. Um, not sure if he made the Hall of Fame or not, but I do remember him. With the glasses. Steve Lyons. Still looking for Sosa. Being very elusive here. <laughs> nice unibrow, bro. Alright. BJ Surhoff. It's not not recognize a lot of these names. Hey, we got Jim Abbott. So he was a great pitcher and he only had one hand, so he would put the glove on his non pitching hand, throw the pitch, and then put the glove onto his hand. See? Very cool, Jim Abbott. What do we got here? Nobody great. Did we get the same another same card in a row again? Man, I can see where these cards opening these cards up gets very monotonous. Get, getting all base cards. I don't know what year they finally started putting like really cool like autograph card. Maybe it was ninety one when they started doing the autograph cards. Because right, I remember that. Nolan Ryan had it done an autograph deal with the uh, upper deck. You can get Deion Sanders rookie out of here? Really? Did not know that. That would be a good one to get. Hmm. Do you know what the card number is on that one? Deion Sanders. Oh, wait. We just got the Deion Sanders. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, Dante Bichette. Ooh, we missed the Dante Bichette. Very nice. We got the Deion Sanders. Sick. All right, yeah. Didn't he play football and baseball? And I'm not sure if he made the Hall of Fame or not, but I think he's in the Hall of Fame for uh, football. Deion Sanders, very cool. Somebody just called that in the chat. That's a cool one. And we got the Nolan Ryan, nice. So we didn't get the, we got the Nolan Ryan card 544. And I think there's another one in this set. Not worth a whole lot. I think even a ton of that's like 20, 30 bucks or something. It's not really worth grading there, but Doug Drabeck. I think I got his autograph on a ball too. That was that. Uh, I got it up for sale right now. 
Pretty sure it's Doug Drabeck. There's Sean Dunstan. Remember him from the Cubs. A lot of great players in here, guys. A lot of Hall of Famers and great memories here. 1990 was the first year I started buying baseball cards. But I used to buy the, um, there's Barry Larkin, Hall of Famer. I used to buy the uh, Topps cards. I bought the crap out of those Topps cards. I used to have uh, packs where you can just buy individual packs at my local card shop. So, did you get Dion? Yes, I did get a Dion. Um, I believe that's the Dion Sanders, right? That's the uh, rookie card, I guess. Not really sure the value of that or whatnot, but pretty much I just looked up the cards in PSA 10s and which ones were going for any kind of money. I didn't see those cards in there, so like I said, the Juan Gonzalez was like 30 to 40. Griffey's about 130, and Sosa's about 100. Ooh, I thought that was the, Bo ja the other Bo Jackson for a second there. So you get, you'll have to tell me what that what that Deion Sanders is worth in a, t in a 10, if it has any value or anybody's even got it. There's another Griffey card. It's like a checklist card type deal, I think. I'm not really sure. It's just, yeah, it's kind of a checklist. It's got all the players on there. So we got one Griffey, we got one Juan Gonzalez rookie, and we got one Deion Sanders rookie card. And these boxes, like I said, I got them for less than 20 bucks a box, so it's worth it just for the nostalgia. And then you got a, you got a shot at pulling that $100 Sosa PSA 10 or $130 Griffey PSA 10. So I think it's worth it. Oh, look at that, guys. We got the Sosa rookie card. Nice. Right on the top there. Hopefully it's not dinged. And it is nicely centered. It is nicely centered from what I can tell. And card number 17, Sammy Sosa. Sweet. Got the Sosa rookie card. So we can get 110 out of the Sosa. Uh, we paid for all, all five of the boxes that I bought. That I bought. So I'll let you guys kind of take a look at it there. But left to right it's good. Top to bottom looks pretty good to me. And doesn't have any corner issues or edge issues. So, yeah, it's looking pretty darn good. At least a mint nine, I'd say. Uh, have, have I seen Sammy? I haven't seen what he looks like lately. Here's Will Clark, isn't he? A, he's got to be a Hall of Famer, right? I'll set him over there anyways. Um, another Kirby Puckett. I have not seen what Sammy looks like recently. So we got Sosa, we got Griffey. Potential right there with those four cards for, you know, $250. They get tens. Out of a $20 box. So I don't know if we're going to get a lot of doubles, though, because there's not, there's so many cards in these sets. These stickers keep getting stuck to the back of the cards. There's Tony Glenn. He's a Hall of Famer, but uh, he did pass away, I believe. He was into the old chewing tobacco, and he unfortunately got cancer. So that is why I don't do any kind of anything smoking or anything like that. It's just going to have a good shot at ending your life a lot earlier. PSA 10 go for 30 to 40 on the, on the, uh, on the Deion Sanders. Very cool. Yeah, see, to me, oh, there we go. We got the Dante Bichette. So that's Bo Bichette's dad then. Uh, I'm not sure if he's in the Hall of Fame yet or not, but Dante Bichette. We got Jim Abbott again. We got Mike Schmidt. Pretty sure he's a Hall of Famer. Cool looking card there. Um, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't grade a Deion Sanders just to get 30 bucks out of it. Just because I don't think these cards are going to be super easy to grade. Just because of the card stock and whatnot. Probably really easy for PSA to give it a nine. There's uh, Roberto Elmar, very cool. So I mean, the Sosa and the Griffey all grade, but probably none of the other ones. I mean, Juan goes for thirty to forty, but just not worth the uh, not worth the effort. We got another Robert and Ventura. So we are getting some doubles here, but we haven't got any doubles of the of the hits. Jim Abbott's in the College Hall of Fame. Very cool. Dion Rookie is worth more than Sosa. Actually, the Sosa is worth 100 and right around $100 in PSA 10. So he has got more value than a Dion P 
PSA 10. But if you had a Deion Sanders football card, then probably worth good money. I mean, I know a lot of people liked, liked him, but I think he got injured. Career ended earlier. Same with Bo Jackson, great player, but fortunately, I think he got injured. All right, so so far a pretty uh, pretty decent box, I'd say. I'm liking that Sosa. I think that's got a ten shot. Griffey's probably a nine, but not going to complain. I think if I get enough of these, crack all these boxes open, I should get at least one Sosa and one Griffey ten out of here, hopefully. Paul O'Neill. Thanks for coming in and hanging out, guys. Probably do. Yeah, it's one in the morning already. I'll do one more box of these. Uh, there's a Dennis Eckers Lee. I got his autographed baseball. I think I'm holding on to that one. Even though the baseballs, I mean, signed baseballs just don't really go up in value a whole lot. Unlike like, like a rookie card, you can see a rookie card just blow up in value. But Sandy Alomar Jr., not sure if he's in the Hall of Fame. Bo Nose, PSA 10. Yeah, the Bo Jackson card, I think, is going for around 40 or 45. Not the one we pulled, but the other one. Um, I don't know if you get that out of this series or not. Because there's a couple, like, two series, and there's, like, almost a thousand cards out of this Hubbard Excess. It's insane. don't know why they had so many cards back then. Who do we got here? Steve Sachs. Ooh, we got a Wade Boggs. Very nice Hall of Famer Wade Boggs. Once again, I had his rookie card, but they were only like PSA 8s, and I just decided to sell them. There's just so many of those cards out there. Another Kirby. We got our third Kirby Pocket, man. Why couldn't we get three Griffey base cards or three Sosas? Jack Clark. I wonder if he's related to Will Clark. No idea. And, oh, we got another Sosa rookie. There I am complaining about Sosa rookie card. That one is a little off-centered, I think, the left to right, and the cut on it doesn't look perfect. It's got like a little chippy, chippy deal there. So look right there, it's a little chipped up. And you look on the front, it's a little chipped up. So, might still send it, might still get a nine, but um, like it's an eight, we're not gonna get a whole lot of money out of it. But still, we got another, that one, sending that one off will make that other one look like really good. That's one reason why you want to send a couple off of the uh, same same card. So if you have one that looks really good, it's got. I feel like it has a better shot at getting a ten. Uh, Mr. Video Games, I consistently sell the hologram stickers for a buck two on eBay. Um, the, these stickers that come out of here for a dollar, really? For like a whole set of them, or because the stickers? Let me see. We've gotten quite a few. Um, keep getting stuck to the cards. You're saying you sell like something like this for a dollar? That's that's kind of weird. <laughs> I mean, that would pay for the box right there, because the box is twenty bucks, and you're getting thirty-six of those stickers. Can't believe anybody would pay that. What do you do? Just slap it in an envelope and put a stamp on it? <laughs> Sounds like a tedious way to make money, but. I guess it's worth it to you. Jackpot. So yeah, two Sosas and one Griffey so far. That's crazy uh, there, Mr. Video Games. I don't, I'm getting away from selling like low dollar stuff. I was selling like individual cards for anywhere from like four or five bucks all the way up to like 20, 30 bucks and just put, putting them in an envelope with like a, a stamp, a non-machinable stamp. But I'm getting away from that, selling those cards on ComC, because I can send them in there. They list them and do all the work. There's another Jose Canseco. And my eBay does so much money that I don't want to monkey around with $1 items. Then you run the risk of getting a negative or, or somebody getting upset about a $1 item. It just isn't worth it to me. When I'm pulling in a pretty good amount of money every month, so... 
Bash Brothers. What's uh what's that? I've heard that saying before, but I don't know what that is. Hey, if you want to buy all the stickers off me, I'll send you all of them. I'll probably have over a hundred of those things when I'm done. Barry Larkin. Because I doubt I'm gonna list them. But maybe if you have yeah, you maybe if you took a whole bot a whole thing of them and had like a hundred something stickers and just sold them off, like the whole thing. That might be worth it and get like 20 bucks for them or something. I just, I don't see why people would buy, pay money for a sticker. <laughs> Canseco and McGuire. Oh, okay. Canseco and McGuire. Yeah, we've gotten those guys already. Yeah, a lot of people are saying like this documentary, not only is McGuire and Sosa going to be in it and their cards are all shooting up in value, but anybody else that's in it, that's in the, in the videos, in the documentary, those other players will be going up in price as well as people will be seeing them and going out and buying their cards. So somebody was saying uh, Jose Canseco, um, but I haven't bought any Canseco cards. I bought one um, one McGuire rookie for 130 bucks. It's a PSA nine, and the, the price has shot up. There's another Carlton Fisk. Maybe we'll get another Griffey here at the end because that. We got one of those Carlton Fisks really early, and that's when we hit the Griffey. There's a Pucket. I paid 130, and the price shot up to like 4, 400, 450. Last time I checked, the auctions were going for like 350. So I could sell it right now, triple my money, but I'm going to hold on to it until this documentary comes out, see how it plays out, see how the you know the card goes up or what happens, and then I'll probably sell it off and take my money and run. So, but I just got lucky on that. I was looking the card up. There's Lance Parrish. I don't think he's a Hall of Famer, but another Kirby, Kirby Puckett. Same card there. Um, I was looking at the card, and I guess somebody had just listed one. They put a buy it now on there, and they didn't pay attention. There's Greg Maddox. He was on the Cubs, and then I think he went to the Braves. He got really good, and his rookie cards were going up and stuff, and then he came back to the Cubs. It's pretty cool. Oh, there's a Cal Ripken Jr., very nice with a pirate sticker on the back. I think that's the first Cal Ripken Jr. we got in the whole box. So, Kevin Blinkenship. Not a bad box. I will take it for 20 bucks. Actually, less than 20 bucks is what I spent on these boxes per box. Like I said, we got two Sammy Sosa rookies, one Deion Sander rookie. One Ken Griffey Jr. second year card and one Juan Gonzalez rookie card, so pretty darn good. I mean, if we can get a ten out of that Sosa, that's a hundred bucks. That one's probably a nine, maybe an eight at worst. Dion, I'm not gonna grade. Griffey's probably a nine, so I don't know, twenty, twenty-five bucks, and then one Gonzalez there. So let's go ahead and bust out one more box here. I'm gonna call it a night. I need to relax here, so. Get some food. Box and number two. And we got more boxes of these. We'll do them. We'll do some more another night or something. I just don't wanna don't wanna knock them all out in one day. But maybe I should get probably knock them out before I send those off to PSA because I wanna send them all off at the same time. The earlier I can get them back, the better. And then I can uh, sell them off. Because if I send them off at, like, beginning of June, hopefully get them back by September. Maybe October at the latest, and hopefully Sosa cards are still worth money. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't do football at all, James. I'm not interested at all. Regardless of how much money I could potentially make, I'm just not interested. I don't know anything about football. I don't watch football. Just wouldn't be fun to me. My main focus is basketball, but um, mostly I'm doing the older stuff and base and newer baseball stuff. I just listed all my, well, vast majority of the baseball cards that I had got from the last uh, PSA submission. I got all those cards listed. There was like 24 of them, besides all the doubles I had, just like all the cards that, you know, all the unique cards that I had from the baseball returns. Listed all those for. About $2,400 altogether, so $100 a card on average. There's Will Clark again. 
but hopefully I get some sales on those soon. Bunch of Pete Alonzo's, Eloy Jimenez rookie cards. Um, there's another Cal Ripken. We got one on the last box, one on this box. He was like, he won the record of the most game, like consecutive games played. I can't remember how many, but yeah, that's pretty insane. I doubt that's ever going to be broken. Uh, Lou Whitaker. Probably a Hall of Famer, but I'm just going to leave him there anyways, because I have no idea. Um, another Wade Boggs. Very nice. Do, do, do. Ozzie Guillen. I don't think he's a Hall of Famer. Gary Gaetti. I'm sure there's some rookies in here that I just don't know about. Not sure what you're asking there, James. No Sosa and no Griffey so far. There's another Doug Drabeck. I'll set him over there. Pretty sure he's a Hall of Famer. Kevin Mass. Shane Nelson. Okay. Start another stack over here because my other stack's getting kind of tall. Rob Dibble. Who remembers Rob Dibble from the Reds? Cubs guy I haven't heard of. Must not have been a uh, Mark Grace in here because we didn't see a Cubs Mark Grace. Chuck Finley. Is that Jim Abbott there too? I'm not sure. Or is that? I guess that's Chuck Finley. <laughs> didn't know he was a pitcher. All right, Kevin Gross. We got another Roberto Alomar. We've been seeing a lot of that card. There we go. We got Daryl Strawberry. Nice. Another McGuire. That same card. Why do you want the football set? Um, da -dum -dum -dum. Jose Gonzalez. Not the Gonzalez we're looking for. There's probably some good rookies in it, I'm assuming. I've seen the football. It was football um, prism draft. Hit my Walmart and it, there was a full case there. I went back a few years later. There's Dwight Gooden. He's a good one. I think he's a Hall of Famer. 91 upper deck has a Jordan uh, in the White Sox uniform. Yeah, for sure. And I, I'd love to hit that card, but I think that's only like one in two boxes or so, something like that. If I remember, it was a pretty short printed card. What the hell is this guy playing in? <laughs> um. But, yeah, maybe we'll bust open a box of that sometime. But that card's definitely gone up in value. There's Tony Gwynn again. Wouldn't mind hitting the Jordan uh, short print card. Billy Ripken. Another Kirby Puckett. We've gotten quite a few of those. But anyways, I went back there a couple days later, and somebody had bought everything out on the football. But I just have no interest. No interest in football. Never really have. My uncle, once upon a time, was a big, big football fan, and uh, he was a big Packers fan because he's from Wisconsin, and I was from Illinois, so naturally I rooted for the Bears. And at that point in time, the uh, the Bears were always getting their butt kicked by the Packers, so he'd always make fun. And later on down the line, when I got older, and the Packers were sucking. <laughs> And the Bears were kicking their butt. I always, uh, uh, what do you call it, kind of made fun of them, you know, like, uh, can't think of what, what the saying is, but um, I'd always say something about it and get a rise out of them. Uh, we got Ozzy Smith, Hall of Famer there, very nice. Rub it, uh, rub it in his face. That's the saying I was looking for. I always rub it in his face. Like, ah, how about those uh, Packers? Because at that point, I think he wasn't even watching the games. He was so disappointed. There we go. We got the Bo Jackson. It's way off-centered. Unfortunately, card number 105. 
Uh, that card goes for like 40, 45 bucks on a PSA 10. I'm not sure why. I mean, it's not, it's not Bo Jackson's rookie card or anything. But Bo Jackson, very, very great player. Um, maybe he'll get in the Hall of Fame one day. Because I don't think he is currently. Still haven't hit the Griffey or the Sosa out of box number two here. What kind of boxes do you guys want to see tomorrow? Because um, I still have, I still got Upper Deck 93, 94. I got Series 1 and 2. I got Hoops 93, 94. I got a box of those. Maybe we'll do something like that. Bust, bust some of those out. That would be a fun time. I got like one stack of cards left to list from the PSA shipment I got back Monday. Um, so I've already listed, since Monday I've listed 95 cards and I got like probably about 30 left. So what's that, 125 cards listed in six days. And then the other two stacks I got over here are just all doubles. So as the cards sell then I'll list the next one. Um, so that should be a fun time. Another Chris Sabo. But I haven't been... Last time I got PSA shipments back, I got two in a row. And uh, the PSA shipments I got back were like... What was it? Almost 500 cards for the two shipments. Or maybe it was even a little bit more. And I was listing like 80 or 100 cards a day. I was just going all day. I didn't really, really want to do that this time around. Because usually I wake up. I pack all my orders. Make some breakfast. And then I... Uh, do a life, you know... Uh, get um, get all my stuff listed, and um, get all my stuff listed for the day. And I like to bid on stuff that I'm bidding on. Have time to look up stuff that I want to bid on. Do the live streams for you guys. And all these things take a lot of time, so I only have so much time that I can spend listing stuff unless I take away from all the other stuff which I don't really want to do because I listing is probably my least favorite thing to do but with as much stuff as I've been listing lately I'm it's making my sales go up big time so it's it's worth it but ideally if I got a PSA shipment back let's say once every month or once every three weeks or whatever here we go we got a Ken Griffey Jr. nice take a look at this first and let's say I get the shipment back and it takes me ah it's off centered again this one's like way off centered on that left or right so he's smiling on the back there he's having a good time very unfortunate because that's like a hundred dollar card if you look at this one you look at this one I want to say this one's a little bit more off centered but they're they're pretty close so Tom Brady is on the Buccaneers. Very cool. Another Jose Canseco. How many of those are we going to get? Another Barry Bonds base card. Very nice. Um, but yeah, if I, if I got back, I don't know, 200 cards, and then I could list those 20 a day, I could do that in like 10 days, and then if I got another shipment back, two or three weeks later give me a good week that I wouldn't have to worry about listing anything or just list a couple items here and there we got another Ryan Sandberg nice Hall of Famer Ryan Sandberg and we went to uh, it was the Rockford Cubbies I'll set him over there he came to after he retired he went to the Rockford Cubbies game and we got to go see that game you could uh, get in line to get his autograph, but you had to get to the game like hours in advance. And it was like a long, long line to get Ryan Sandberg's autograph. And my family didn't really want to do that. I didn't really want to do that. It would have been cool, but I mean, I actually bought a Ryan Sandberg uh, autograph card. It's either still in my store or I sold it already. But not a ton of value to the signature. The cool Ryan Sandberg was the... Um, was it Diamond Kings? He had an autograph. I can't remember which one it was. He had like an insert autograph in one of the packs from, must have been 92 or something like that, 91. 
I always wanted to pull that card. That was a cool card, but... Never got lucky and got any of the crazy autographs out of these sets, because these older sets, remember, they printed these things into oblivion. So if there was an autograph and the guy signed, like, let's say 3,000 autographs or something, which is a lot, uh, wasn't considered a lot back then, because you would open cases and cases of these things and not pull an autograph. That's how rare they were. Um, just like the 92 Ultra Basketball we opened with the possibility for a Scottie Pippen. It says on the pack, one in 9,000 packs to get that uh, Scottie Pippen autograph card. So, pretty slim to none on that one. So, right around, what's that, like 300 boxes or something? Yeah, it's just under 300 boxes you would have to open to get one autograph card. <laughs> Got a Greg Maddox again there, very nice. Oral Hershiser. I think he might be in the Hall of Fame. Hershiser, good pitcher. Hubie Brooks. So we got one Griffey out of this box and no Sosa so far. There's a Mark Grace. We didn't hit a Mark Grace on the last box, but we got one on this. The first baseman, Mark Grace. Very, very nice. Um, who's the first baseman now for the Cubs? Uh, what's his name? can't think of it off the top of my hand, top of my head. Uh, I start to get tired and I can't think straight. But he's a great player as well. Um, there we got a Larry Walker rookie card. That's our third one, I believe. So, a little bit OC on that. Don't think there's a lot of value to the Larry Walker, but Anthony Rizzo, yeah. So Anthony Rizzo's the first baseman. I and mean, then who's second baseman now? Or is that guy a second baseman? The guy with the beard. I can't remember his name. At least when they won the uh, championships and st championship and stuff, who the players were, but because Javier Baez, he plays shortstop, right? I need to get, I need to catch up on my my uh, my information because I haven't watched baseball in a while. I did see the Cubs win the World Series; that was pretty awesome, but. Um, I wish what's hot in a baseball was a bit different. Bond, Sosa, Boyer are hot. None of them are Hall of Fame. Will not get there, but their cards are hot. Because they're great players, and even though they're not in the Hall of Fame, you know, they'd be in the Hall of Fame, but because of the whole steroid, you know, the whole steroid thing basically kept them out of the Hall of Fame. Same with, same with Roger Clemens, but Barry Bonds is arguably one of the best baseball players of all time. So that's why their their cards have value. Just like Pete Rose isn't in the Hall of Fame, but look at his rookie card. It's worth a ton of money. Um, oh, the the Billy Rip, Ripken FF card on his baseball bat. Yeah. Almost thought about getting a box of those. The uh, the Fleer '89. You can pull the Griffey rookie card as well. Um, but I just sent off like ten of those Griffey rookie cards. I got a collection from a guy that all of them were packed fresh. There's Rafael Palmero. Um, that guy looks kind of scary. Baez is now second, but he is might be moving back to shortstop. Okay. So Russell was second baseman. Who's the guy I'm thinking of that was had the beard and he's a really good hitter? He was like one of the first three in the lineup. There's George Brett, Hall of Famer, right after Roger Clemens. So yeah, people don't necessarily just want the players that are Hall of Famers, they want those people they remember, and McGuire had such a big impact, so sad, because that documentary is coming out, their cards are very valuable, Bonds is like, I mean, he, how many home runs did he hit in his career, <laughs> you know, uh, and then Canseco, you know, great player, once again, PEDs, Ricky Henderson, if you get his rookie in a 10, it's worth like $30,000, but we got a Ricky Henderson, not sure if he still has the all-time record for base, base steals or whatever. There's a Kirby Puckett. Uh, BGO. Did I miss a BGO? Um, did I miss a Craig BGO? Sandy Elmar. Maybe I did. Uh, let me know, because I see you posted a BGO in the chat there. Oh, Zorbist. Yeah, Zorb is it Zorbist? Who's the other one, though? Zorbist? Then there's the other one. God, what's his name? I, I I just I just can't think of his name. Not Zorbis, but the other guy that's really good that's on the Cubs. At least I think he's still on the Cubs. 
Uh, there's Paul Molitor. This is trivia time. I'm giving you guys trivia here. Tommy Green. Yeah, Zorb. I know who Zorbus is, but he's the other guy that's on the. He's like the one of the star players on the Cubs. I don't know what. Uh, I don't know if he plays third base or what he is. Donruss Elite, 1990 and 91. Yeah, those are some. Those were cool cards, and once again, very hard to pull those those elite cards. And then if you could get one of those uh, autographs out of there, like the Ryan Sandberg or. Not sure if Dylan Ryan had one too, but Chris Bryant, that's who I'm thinking of. Christopher, thank you. Chris Bryant. Yeah, great player. Uh, where's Will Clark again? I'm not sure which uh where Chris Bryant plays. If he's a fielder or what. Jose Cano, not Jose Canseco. Sets so Joe Carter again. Not getting any of the really good cards here. Not getting Sosa, not getting another Dion Sanders. What's going on here? Third base, okay, he is third baseman. Yeah, he's a great player. I mean, see back in the 90s you had, Sandberg was on second, you had um, Mark Grace on first, you had uh, Andre Dawson who usually played right field. I can't remember. Sean Dunstan, I mean, I don't know which one he played. There's Dave Winfield, he's pretty sure he's a Hall of Famer. So, Don Mattingly should be a Hall of Famer. I'm not sure why Don Mattingly isn't in the Hall of Fame. Sean Dunstan, yeah, he was good. But it's just interesting to see the different uh, generation and the players that we have now as opposed to who we had 30 years ago. Bob Welsh, Mel Hall. Not sure. I don't think he's in the Hall of Fame. Don, Sean Dunson was a shortstop. Okay. It's hard to remember. It's been so many years, but we used to watch the Cubs games, and, you know, you had, uh... There we go. We got it. Oh, I thought that was Nolan Ryan. I seen a pitcher, and he's on the uh, Rangers, and I thought it was Nolan Ryan there. Um, but, uh... Oh, what's his name? The announcer. Take me out to the ball game. Ryan Sandberg, a home run. Holy cow. Harry Carey, that was his name. Harry Carey was great. You know? He was always drinking, and then he'd do the seventh inning stretch. and Those were the days, man. Yeah. Why don't you like uh, Bonds, Mr. Video Games there? Yeah, Maddox was another good one. I still have a few uh, Greg Maddox rookie cards there. Not graded, but Dennis Eckersley again. Getting a bunch of those. Coming, there's the Sean Dunson. Hit that one in the last box. Um, really wish we'd get another Sosa out of here. We got two out of the first box. Got another Jose Canseco. I think you're going to see his cards going up here with that documentary coming out. Uh, Ken Griffey Jr. was the best outfielder, you think? What about Mike Trout? Or you're saying, you know, people that are already retired. It's Barry Larkin. Kirby Puckett. Pulled a lot of those. Haven't got the Juan Gonzalez in this box either. There's another Dwight Gooden. Gary Carter. Yeah, another box I wanted to buy is the Leaf, but the Leaf Series 1, those are going for like 120 bucks a box, and you're really just trying to pull that Sosa rookie card. Uh, you got to get Series 2 to get the um, Frank Thomas, which is like 300 bucks. For some reason, the Sosa is pushing the same price as the Frank Thomas, which I think is a little, it's a little bit pushing it. But Ozzy Gian. Like I said, people went crazy. As soon as, uh, as soon as I seen that there was gonna be a documentary on those guys, I started looking up the McGuire and I looked at all the solds that like literally just happened probably within hours 
and the price had already gone up from like $75 to like $400. It was insane. And I luckily, like the next day, picked up a copy for 130 bucks, but I'm just gonna sit. You missed BGO like five minutes ago. Okay, my bad. I'm sure I'll look, sort through them again, maybe. Maybe I'll pull all those stickers out and keep them off this side or something. All right, Johnny Ray. There's just so much work to like, I got like stacks and stacks of cards that I still gotta kind of go over and double check. That takes time just to do that. And I'm doing more openings on top of it, so. Here's Fred McGriff. Very cool, I got his rookie card, but didn't think it's worth a whole lot of money, Dwight Gooden. There we go, got another Juan Gonzalez right there. It's got the, um, yeah, it's a little off-centered. It's got a lot of, um, uh, what do you call it, silvering along the bottom there, just with the cut. So I'm probably not gonna grade the Juan Gonzalez's, just cause he's only like 30, 40 bucks. And I don't think with that kind of quality, it's gonna get a 10 anyways. Mainly I'm just looking at the Sosas and the Griffies, but those Griffies were off-centered. One of them is like borderline nine, the other one looks more like an eight. But we will see, I'll check them out later and make a decision. Probably after I'm done ripping all these boxes open. Dwight Gooden and Daryl Strawberry. Oh, jeez. Did not know that. Andre Dawson. You gotta think these guys are on the road. Like, you know, they're playing baseball games almost every single day. It's just, that's gotta just wear and tear on you. It's insane that they can go for as long as they can. 20 plus years, a lot of them. I think you're gonna see less and less of that because when you can just retire, you, you've made so much money. Why play when you're into your 40s if you don't have to, you know? But it's a cool thing that there was a lot of great players that played really long careers. Hey, we got a Bo Jackson car, he's waving. It's not the one you wanna get, uh, but it's a Bo Jackson nonetheless. Very cool. Got a stack of, you know, good players, Hall of Famers. Some of them are sleeved up. All right, I think we just have one more pack left, and we're going to call it a night. Appreciate you guys coming. Junior and Juan are 50. Oh, my God, are they really? Dang. I didn't know Ken Griffey. Well, Ken Griffey Jr. was a rookie in 89. Um, so what's that, 31 years ago? So he would have been, like, 19 at the time. Sounds about right to me. But, yeah, it's time flies, man. What year did Griffey retire? I know he, he got injured or whatever at the end there. And he was on the Reds. Most of the Gri uh, Griffey cards I'm trying to buy up and collect are the um, refractor cards from when he was on the uh, Mariners. Not really interested in his other ones. All right, so box number two, we didn't get a single Sosa, so that was kind of a lamer. Uh, but we did get one Griffey out of the second box, so we got two Sosas. Two Griffies, two Juan Gonzalez, one Dion, and one Bo Jackson. You can see the odds are like one a, one in a box of each card, pretty much. Um, with with as many cards we're in the set, that's all you can really expect. So out of the five boxes, I'll probably end up with like five Sosas and like five Griffies. But yeah, this the centering on this, I mean, just really off on these. I can tell this one's not as off center as this one, but. Yeah, we'll take a look at them later, but it's getting late. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, Griffey retired in 2010, so he still played 21 years. That's a pretty long career. Uh, you can sign one contract when, worth $250 million. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the baseball card opening uh, for the night. Uh, in not super exciting boxes. I just wanted to kind of relive and pull the Sammy Sosa and the Griffey. Um, I already got a 9 on the Griffey, and I've got the 10 on the Sosa, but I'm just going to end up selling the Sosas. Um, you know, might as well. But, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you back here tomorrow for some more live stream card opening videos. Take care, guys.